Hello, hello. Then you haven't seen another car video. I have a little bit of technical difficulties at this at this point. I'm gonna have to hold the phone. But I appreciate y'all for being here anyway. And the topic of this video is uh, baby daddy buys food for his kids and not other kids. But before we get into this video, ah, definitely let y'all know this channel is all about helping both men and women be the best they could be in all aspects of their lives including dating relationships, health, wealth, mindset, and all that good stuff. Um, so we can make the world a more positive place and have better people in it. So with that, um, also, I want to thank y'all for being here. Especially you new people, welcome. Your regulars, welcome. If you have not done so, definitely uh, like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification button so you'll be notified for whenever I upload some new videos. Thank you, and of course, a share if you think uh, this video will be a value to somebody who you know um, or who you don't know. Share it to your social medias. Maybe somebody will pick it up and will love it. Um, yeah, I hit said like, comment, subscribe, all that. So uh, let's get into the topic. Baby daddy buys food for his kids and not other kids. It's a pretty uh, hot video um, and hot topic right now. And I will leave a link to the video in the description. It's like, damn. Should he have bought food for all the kids, even the ones that were not his? Or should he have just bought food for his kids? Of course, I'm going to talk about it. And I'm going to um, give you all four reasons how come he should have bought kid food for just his kids. And of course, the bonus at the end. So you want to stay to the end so you get that bonus and really be able to understand uh, the value of everything of what he did, you know. Um, so it is a viral video and I don't think it's as big a deal as people make it. But the fact that the baby mama recorded the video says a lot and um, posted it says even more, you know, so. I'll get into that as well, um, but you know, let's get into this, and hopefully I will uh, open your mind a little bit, and excuse the sweating, been kind of going through a lot before this video, uh, but I will be well, still have good content, still make good video, and there won't be any problems, so, um, but yes, let's get into this. Baby daddy buys food for his kids only and not other kids. Powerful, powerful, powerful. So with that, um, first things first, we always got to realize his responsibility are to his kids only. His responsibility are to his kids only. Those are the ones that he maybe he was coming to see. Those are the ones maybe he was going to spend some time with. Those are the ones that he gave birth to. His responsibility are to them. You could always say, hey, what about the reverse? You have fathers who don't come see their kids, who don't bring their kids food. And you know, we are raging over a father who is wanting to do his part for his kids. While we have other fathers who don't do anything for their kids. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, He's probably thinking, I can't speak for him, but I'd be like, hey, I'm going to take care of mine. They got fathers. Let them take care of them. And or you can do it. I don't owe those kids. And I'll get into that too. You know what I mean? It's like at the end of the day, he got to take care of his responsibility, which are his kids. And that's it. Period. Point blank. Nothing more to it. You know what I mean? So that is the first point. Second point, other kids are her slash his baby mama's responsibility. I'm sure she knew that uh, the baby daddy was coming and that he was bringing food. Um, and I'm sure she knew that he was going to come and see his kids and that he's going to bring food for his kids. You know, so at the end of the day. She should have done something about it. Either say, hey, you know, just say, you know, he just wanted to bring food for it. And I get it in terms of the kids, how that would look. 
but that's more motivation for their fathers to do their parts in their lives. You know, you get maybe you take them out, and I get it, because you got to understand him as an outsider to their family, with the kids, her, and the kids. He doesn't know the dynamic. You know what I mean? He only knows how it is with his kids. So she got to figure out how to take care of the, the kids and make everything be peaceful and uh, calm, though they did not get the food. That is her responsibility. Maybe they get desserts. I don't know. They got to do something. She got to do something. Because it's not about the father or the baby daddy. You know what I mean? It's not about the baby daddy. It's not his responsibility. So, third point. He wants to build a, a relationship with his kids. Not all of them. He wants to build a relationship with his kids. He wants to do stuff for his kids. Make his kids like him. He doesn't need all the other kids to like him. You know what I mean? He probably doesn't see any of the other kids. They probably come to the door. And they go out and do their thing. Obviously, he's known his kids since, he's, since they were born. He wants to make sure that they have a good relationship. He wants to make sure they're happy. They probably even asked for McDonald's. And he said, hey, I'm going to bring some food. And even if he didn't, he didn't say that. It's not her responsibility to get mad or film all that stuff. Like, what are you trying to prove? Because at the end of the day, it's okay. Sure, it would have been nice if he brought food for everybody. He didn't have to. That was just would have been him being nice. That's it. It would have been him being nice. Nothing more, nothing less. But he didn't have to. Because again, he's not responsible for other people's kids. Especially, well, if he's not with that woman and he is not living there with them full time. Caveat. If he's not with that woman and he's not living there with, with them full time. You know what I mean? So... That's just what it is. Hate it or love it. Yeah. So, um, at the end of the day, whew, he wants to build a relationship with his kids. Not all of them. Just his. So he's going to do what he got to do. So if you've made it this far to the video, thank you. I appreciate it. Definitely like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification button. Share the video if you're enjoying it so other people can enjoy it and also learn. Of course, I hope y'all are learning from the video. I hope y'all are getting some insight into the whole situation. Uh, so if you are ever in a situation, you know how to think and be okay and be calm and relax. Um, but yeah, let's get into it some more. But again, thank y'all for being here. I really, 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 really do appreciate it. So obviously they are not together. And therefore, again, he does not owe her or the other kids anything and this is probably a good reason how come they're not together instead of her being an adult being mature she wanted to film this thing this whole situation and post it to make him look bad but in reality it made her look bad because you got at least one guy who will buy stuff for his kids and sure he could have bought stuff for the other kids but again it's not his responsibility he doesn't owe her or the other kids food he doesn't maybe they don't have a good relationship apparently it's not that great you know and this is the reason why he's not with her the drama the over dramatics you know trying to put him on blast in reality it's making her look bad because anybody with sense would say hey he doesn't owe those kids. He clearly doesn't live there. It's different if he lived there. I'm like, okay, that's a little strange. But clearly he doesn't live there. And even if he did live there, it would be it would be wrong if he did that. But he still has a responsibility to his kids. And sure, if you live there, it's oh, all the kids are my responsibility. I gotta look after them and this and that. But it doesn't seem like he lived there. So we do what he gotta do to take care of his kids. You know, so she got to do what she got to do to take care of the other kids. You know? 
and this goes back to choosing right men and choosing right women to be to have kids with even if you're not in a relationship to have kids with you know clearly they don't have a good relationship clearly he don't really uh, respect her she don't respect him and this is what you get this whole viral video but in the end it's gonna make her look bad you know so we made it to the end of the video thank you we got the bonus here it's very important because the bonus is going to help solidify everything and make everything make more sense in this video and again i appreciate y'all being here and i appreciate y'all staying to the end towards the bonus and uh here we are bonus the bonus is he did what he felt was right at the end of the day again he wants to take care of his kids they are his responsibility. He wants to build a relationship with his kids. Not all of them. He doesn't owe them. So he felt it in his head. Hey, I'm going to do what I got to do to take care of mine. Anybody else who got their own kids, they got to do what they got to do to take care of theirs. That's their responsibility. You know what I mean? And again, it would have been nice if he would have bought food for all of them. But it wasn't what he wanted to do. He didn't feel that I was right. And as a strong man, you got to do what you feel is right. Even if nobody agrees with it or nobody likes it, you, as a strong man, have to do what you feel is right. You know, so as long as it doesn't affect anybody else directly in a negative way. So that's important because if you're doing stuff that's right in your mind, but it affects somebody uh, negatively and uh, um, directly, you know, that's a problem. You know what I mean? Now you're a troublemaker. So. Of course, of course, there's always a caveat with that too, unless if it's necessary. You fighting for your life, fighting to save somebody else's life. You know what I mean? You gotta do what you gotta do. So, yeah, that's all I got for y'all. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you think uh, what I'm saying is crazy. You think it makes sense? Let me know if you think I missed anything. Let me know if you think I was spot on. Of course, give me your opinions in the chat respectfully. Um, outside of that. Um, let me know what other topics you want me to talk about. Of course, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification button, and share uh, the video so we can get it out to more people so they can hear this perspective and they can get in, in inside the uh, the conversation. And so we can just really learn from the situation. So if you are or anybody you know or ever in a situation, you can then instruct them to help them be the best they can be in the situation. Um, donations are always valuable. I always appreciate donations. They always... Uh, uh, um, help out of course if you want to help make the quality of the videos better donate point blank period <laughs> um, outside of that I hope to see y'all next week y'all stay safe be sane keep being strong and always remember the strongest person is the happiest person <laughs>